How's it going everybody? It's a slightly overcast day here in Columbus, and we're going to be talking about Shadowland by Peter Straub. If you're interested in picking up the book after I talk about it, link to purchase the book with my Amazon affiliate link as always in the future and from now on forever will be in the description down below, as well as a link to my Amazon affiliate where you can pick up any of the books I review here on the channel. Just scroll on down and check them out through there. So I went into this book with literally no expectations. I knew nothing about it, except for that Peter Straub had made at least one book with Stephen King before, and I kind of, I guess, had the expectation it might be in a similar vein to that, and I wasn't entirely wrong. The vibe of this book was certainly along the lines of if Stephen King wrote Harry Potter. Yeah, it was weird. It was a bit messy. It was strange. It was also really good. I would say this book is not for everyone. I think many people who do like that book will agree with me because it has a lot of varying tones, some seriously jarring transitions, and not the most straightforward storytelling structure. All things that could push a lot of readers away. But this book still absolutely charmed me with some really interesting characters, a decently well-built world, an incredibly soft magic system, but an enjoyable one, and a decent take on the actual magical magician's trope that we've seen done many, many times before. Just a heads up though, don't do the audiobook that's on Audible. The narrator almost killed the book for me and I had to transition into reading it physically because he makes the kids sound like sniveling little cowards the entire time and it, it really hurt my enjoyment. So I do not endorse his performance. Sorry if you watch this my guy, you do a good job as a voice actor, but just the choices you made here drove me absolutely nuts. But the story itself kind of is split into two parts, the first taking place in a boys' school, and the second taking place in the Shadowland, or a much more magical setting. I found myself more engaged by the first part because I thought the character work and atmosphere building was better done, and there was some great ideas and execution in the second part as well, but I didn't fully feel engaged on the same level I certainly was in the first half. I guess as someone who entered public school at a later point than most others, I found myself rather aggressively relating to the two protagonists kind of struggling in this school, the feelings they felt, the bullies and things like that. All those things kind of lined up with things I had previously dealt with in school. So for those reasons, I actually kind of liked that aspect of this story more than anything else. It was very well handled, and the character work as well as the rivalry, uh, not rivalry, bullying going on felt real and well realized. And that's where the Stephen King vibes really come in the strongest here. Peter Straub's vocabulary and handling of how kids treat each other is incredibly realistic, so it feels like Stephen King. In my opinion, no one writes kids better than King. They swear at each other, they'll say horrible things, they have no filter, and they're willing to do awfulness, and Peter Straub was along the same lines. Which, when I first started the story, it felt a little YA, and then certain things happened, and by God, it is not that. I think my least favorite aspect of this story was with the romance involving a character named Rose. It just didn't click with me, and young romance never really fully vibes with me. And the two friends at the core of the story I found way more interesting, and I felt their relationship didn't fully take the front seat all the way to the end, which I wish it would have. Keeping this spoiler free, I believe Shadowland is a three and a half to four out of five stars. Is not for everybody, but is a very solid book. Well written, well realized, and Peter Straub can write depth on a level that is rare to see. If you want to see something that's on a very different wavelength, I think Shadowland would be a great way to go. It's not perfect and it didn't vibe with me 100% of the time, but the level of storytelling here is fantastic. I like the characters, the world, atmosphere, such well done atmosphere, which is something I've been looking for recently pretty aggressively and this kind of finally scratched that for me. This has been more of a quickie review because it's a shorter book than I typically read and I don't have a whole lot to say about it aside from that was weird and good. Anyway, guys, like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here. And have a good one, y'all. Peace.